The following video provides a step-by-step -step procedure for testing a Type 2 bypass on the Derringer 30 DCDA and Derringer 50 RPDA backflow preventers for USC testing. The Backflow Direct Micro Bypass Assembly has a test port located on each shutoff valve that can be utilized for testing on the 2 through 4 inch and 6 through 8 inch Derringer 30 and 50. Flush test ports by opening the number one test port on the upstream shutoff valve for three seconds and close. Flush test ports by opening the number two test port on the downstream shutoff valve for three seconds and close. Attach the gauge to the bypass assembly by connecting the high pressure hose to test port number one. Bleed all of the air from the gauge by opening the high pressure bleed valve. Close the high pressure bleed valve. Close the number two shutoff valve. Close the number one shutoff valve. Open test port number two while holding the gauge at the critical level. Once the water has gone from a steady stream to a slight drip out of the test port, observe the gauge reading. The gauge reading must hold at or above 1.0 PSID to be considered holding tight or passing. Your local water authority will require a test report be filled out with the check value found during testing. When filling out the report, enter the test result in the check one field. Enter not applicable in the check number two field. And make sure to specify that you tested a type two bypass assembly. Close both test ports. Remove the high pressure gauge hose. Open shutoff valve number one. Open shutoff valve number two. For more information about this testing procedure, give our technical support a call.